Hey everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to show you our visit to Ketchikan, Alaska. Ketchikan is a beautiful city that is known for its rain, its jewelry shops, and its totem poles. It's also the earliest extant incorporated city in Alaska, dating back to 1900. This was the first port of our cruise after a sea day. The town's small size makes it very easy to navigate in only one day while your ship is in port. Let's get started! We departure from Seattle, and after spend one day at sea, we arrive to Ketchikan. Ketchikan is located in the southeastern part of Alaska and is surrounded by the Tongass National Forest. The city is situated on the shores of the Tongass Narrows, which is a narrow waterway that separates Ravilia Hiheva Island from Ravina Island. The city has a population of around 8,000 people and is known for its fishing industry and tourism. We arrived early in the morning and it was raining, as usual. Ketchikan is the rainiest city in the United States, with an average annual rainfall of 153 inches. It was pretty chilly for a summer day, so we bundled up and headed to our first attraction, the Great Alaska Lumberjack Show. This show was amazing. It featured some of the best lumberjacks in the world competing in various skills like chopping, sawing, climbing, and log rolling. The show was very entertaining and lasted for about an hour and a half. After the show, we decided to explore the town on foot. We walked along the waterfront and saw the whale park, which had a huge sculpture of a whale and some information panels about the marine life in the area. We also saw a lot of totem poles along the way, each one telling a different story or legend. Ketchikan has the world's largest collection of standing totem poles, which can be seen at various locations around the city. One of them was very tall and colorful, and it caught our attention. We continued walking and found ourselves on Creek Street, which is a historic district that used to be the red light area of Ketchikan. There were many old wooden buildings on stilts over the creek, and one of them was Dolly's House, which was a famous brothel back in the day. We took a peek inside and learned about Dolly's life and business. Creek Street was Ketchikan's red light district from 1903 to 1953, and it's now a popular tourist attraction. 
This wooden streets in Ketchikan are actually named and have addresses. They were built in the early 1900s and are still in use today. The streets were originally made of wood planks and were used to transport goods from the docks to the businesses in town. We enjoyed the views and the atmosphere. We saw the Yelitsi salmon, which was a giant mural of a salmon on the side of a building. It was very impressive and colorful. We also saw the salmon ladder, which was a series of steps that helped the salmon swim upstream to spawn. Ketchikan is known as the salmon capital of the world because of its abundant and diverse salmon fisheries. I decided to climb up one of the streets to follow the married man's trail, which was a secret path that married men used to visit Dolly's house without being seen. It led me to the Kate Fox Lodge. They have multiple totems poles here and view of the mountains is amazing. Then we got on a bus for our second tour of the day, Saxman Totem Park. This park had more than 20 totem poles that were carved by Native Alaskans. Totem poles are an important part of Native American culture and history in Ketchikan. They are carved from cedar trees and are used to tell stories and represent important events and people. Each totem pole has its own unique meaning and can be read like a book. The colors and symbols on the totem poles have specific meanings that are important to the Native American culture. We learned about their history and meaning from our guide, who also showed us some carvers working on a new pole. It was very interesting and educational. That's all for this video more are coming about this cruise. Stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new about Ketchikan, Alaska. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more travel videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.